Okay, I am working through my final exam and I'm on problem number six. This is my algebra-based physics course. Uh, they had, they only had to do four problems. You can go find, I'll put all these in the same playlist so you can look through the whole thing and memorize my test uh, that I'll never use again, but there you go. Okay, so here I have a block of mass 2.4 kilograms pushed against a wall and the coefficient of friction is 0.4, that's static friction, static. If the pushing force is perpendicular to the wall, what is the minimum pushing force to keep the block up? So let's draw the block and what force are acting on it. Well, I have the gravitational force. I know that. I have this other force right here. I'll just call that F. Now, though, if it's, if it's going to stay at rest in that position, then the net force has to be zero. So there has to be some other force as well. There is another force. There's a the normal force pushing back this way. Because now that's perpendicular to the wall. The wall is this way, right? So it's pushing that way. And then finally, what pushes up to keep it from sliding? The frictional force. Okay, so let's write the sum of the forces, F net X is going to be equal to uh, N minus F equals zero. Uh, I don't know N. I don't know F. I'm trying to find F. F net Y is going to be equal to F friction minus mg equals zero. Uh, so I can solve this for the frictional force, F friction equals mg, and then I can use my model. If it's, if it's at the right minimum force, I'm going to have the minimum friction, I'm going to have the maximum frictional force possible. So it's going to be F friction is going to be equal to mu S times the normal force. That's my model for friction. It's only equal to because it's just when it could be about sliding. So I'm going to put this in down here and I get mu s equal n equals mg. So I'll solve that for n. n equals mg over mu s. Now I can put that in up here. F equals n. So F equals mg over mu sub s. So it's going to be equal to 2.4, 9.8, 0 0.4. Put that in my calculator. So I'm going to say 2.4, enter. 9.8 times 0.4 divided by. I get 58.8 newtons. The end.